propertymortgageinvestment.com. This is Mark Warner with propertymortgageinvestment.com. Wanted to uh, visit with you a little bit about an opinion that was offered in the ARP magazine recently by uh, Peter Goldmark, who is president of the Rockefeller Foundation and publisher of the International Herald Tribune and the New York State Budget Director. So here's a man with a lot of experience in budgeting and understanding what it means to try and balance a, a budget, which obviously our people in Washington who are running the show have no clue about how to balance a budget and spend what they earn. Unlike uh, many Americans who have had a significant struggle, which is noted here in this article, where uh, Mr. Goldmark suggests that uh, we need to get 20 million plus people employed who are currently unemployed. We need to get the retail consumer spending and housing bu bubbles uh, revived. And the housing bubbles uh, no longer will drive the economy, so we need to accomplish the goal with a large capital infrastructure and investment program, again, making us more competitive around the world. He secondly says wealthy individuals and corporations should carry a fair share of the tax load. We need the revenue and we need a tax system that is not twisted towards the rich. We need incentives for state and local governments not to lay people off. We want those dollars and jobs pumping through our economy. If we choke them off, that creates blockage in the system and the economic equivalent of a stroke. And we need to reform Social Security and health care in its various forms so they serve those who need to get benefits, he says entitled, but don't grow faster than the economy. In some, he says, we should invest capital in our future and create jobs, insist the rich carry their fair share, the size of our benef benefit programs to our means, and as we put people to work, plan to erase our operating budget deficit in five years. Many of the things I agree with here. The one challenge we have is the government seems to think that they need to continually increase their spending budgets. They need to get their act together and if that means some pain from government employees who shouldn't be employed or should be otherwise employed elsewhere into something that has an impact on our economic development, that's what needs to happen. There's lots and lots of federal employees out there who are wasting our resources. And the entitlement benefits for uh, our medical benefits and Social Security are being paid to people who really don't need those benefits. We need to get those things in line, cover our expenses with our income, but we need to make sure to understand that if we tax the corporations more, we're going to have an inflationary pressure put on prices because they just pass those things on to us, the consumer. It's a very del delicate and difficult uh, problem to solve. But we need to make sure that our people in Washington get their act together and quit spending, put, quit giving themselves automatic raises, let them participate in Social Security other than the retirement that they get, and quit being an elite social class that is above the rest of the American people. This is Mark Warner with PropertyMortgageInvestment.com. PropertyMortgageInvestment.com